Thank you, Carol. So where do they come up with these things anyway? Harmonized sales tax? There's no harmony. There's disharmony. People are fed up with getting hosed for doing things the government says it wants them to do. It doesn't add up. Here to help us and tell us more about the math is Bruce Ralston, the provincial finance critic. Bruce? Thanks very much. David said uh, at the outset that this uh, policy first came into effect back in the 1980s, and that's one of the advantages of having a provincially controlled provincial sales tax, is you have the flexibility as a government to make those kind of choices and implement an exemption. Uh, let's flash forward to uh, uh, 2008, uh, green budget, remember that one? Uh, Carol Taylor introduced it, and part of the green budget was uh, a series of provincial PST tax exemptions on a variety of uh, home heating products, green transportation, again showing the flexibility. And in fact, the Liberals, BC Liberals, agreed with this policy. That's what they said in the election when they were asked if they would implement an HST. They said in writing, no, it's a bad idea. And one of the reasons it's a bad idea is it would limit our ability to make those kind of political choices, to uh, choose exemptions from provincial sales tax that make sense for the citizens of British Columbia. What did they do when they signed out of the blue after lying in the election and saying they wouldn't do it uh, in, uh, in July? They signed the HST deal. When the Minister of Finance was asked about exemptions, uh, they've given a few, mostly to, uh, to fossil fuel. What, what, what's, what, uh, what do we do about other exemptions? He said, shrugged his shoulders, they were nice to have, we don't have them anymore. That's their commitment to the environmental exemptions that they brought in in 2008. That's their commitment to something that the Socreds brought in in the 1980s. So this is a, a part of an important fight against the HST. Um, and this is a very clear example of why it's bad policy for British Columbia and why the majority, the vast majority of British Columbians are rejecting the HST and continue to join in the fight to make this government listen. Thanks very much.